Uh, it's about a couple that drive across America and each town they come to, they pretend they're different people. So they invent personalities uh, and they use those personalities to play games on people and to mess with them for sport. And as the games get decidedly sicker and worse and it kind of spirals out of control, then they turn on each other. Well, the idea for the film came because I was working as a screenwriter in the UK and I felt like I didn't know enough about society and people. So in 2004, I worked for three months as a prison guard. Uh, 2005, I worked for three months doing security in a brothel. Um, and then 2007, I lived homeless in London for a month. And I was obviously having to exaggerate parts of my personality to fit into those worlds, but also all the people I met were also doing the same thing. Um, convicts and guards have different faces and different personalities depending on who they're dealing with or what the situation is. Prostitutes have fake uh, names and fake personalities that they have for clients to separate themselves from the job. Um, so I became very interested in the idea about uh, of identity and people changing their identity and becoming a different person every day. I mean, I'm interested in people who are very different and, uh, you know, I consider myself a reasonably moral person, <laughs> but I'm interested in people who aren't. And it's that thing, when you see sociopaths in film, especially American film, they're usually killing people and, and it's very uh, bloody. And I wanted to show that really um, strangers could come into your life and ruin your life and, and walk away and do it with completely within the confines of the law. I think for them, I mean, it, it comes from their sort of like, real kind of like hatred at their lives and wanting to take out on other people so that they are misanthropic, mm. you know, and, and that's kind of where it comes from. And, and I think that, I mean, there's a backstory to the couple that uh -huh. we told the actors, but I think it's better to keep that mysterious so we, we I don't talk about it. But, you know, it does exist. If I hadn't gone to Glasgow, I would have been pretty much heartbroken. I'm very, very grateful and it's an honour. I used to come to the Glasgow Film Festival and the GFT all the time to watch movies. So to have my film here is a big deal.